Find the equation of the parabola given its vertex and y-intercept. So here is the vertex and the y-intercept is given to be 0, 11. So we start off with our vertex form since we do have the vertex, which is this. And then we plug in the 3 is the k and the negative 2 is the h. And then we simplify this down, x plus 2. We add 3 to both sides. It knocks it off the left, puts it over here. Now we use the y-intercept. The y-intercept is 0, 11. 0, 11. So when x is 0, the y better turn out to be 11. That means we can now solve for the a. So 2 squared is 4, and then switch it around to be 4a. Subtract 3 from both sides, and knocks it off of this side, subtracts it over there to be 8. 4 times a equals 8, a equals 2, and turn it around, a equals 2. So now uh, multiply it all out. So here's where we were with a form that was up at this step right there. And now we plug in the a equals 2 right here, a equals 2. Square this out. This is where it's really advantageous to know the squaring out method for a binomial. It's the first squared plus multiply it together and double it, 4x, plus uh, the square of the last is 4. And you have your 3. Then you distribute the 2 in. You get 2x squared plus 8x plus 8 plus a 3. 8 plus 3 is 11. So this is your uh, equation. Then we graph it. And sure enough, it crosses right where it's supposed to at 0, 11. It crosses the y-axis. And it has this vertex at negative 2. 1, 2, 3, perfectly at negative 2, 3. So this is it. And it's one of those graphs that does not cross the x-axis. So I'll quit and turn in my degrees if 2x squared plus 8x plus 11 equals 0 doesn't have complex roots. Because it's supposed to have complex roots because the graph does not touch the x-axis. It doesn't cross. So let's see. Here's our quadratic formula. We plug in negative b, that's the 8, plus or minus b squared minus 4a, that's the 2, c, that's 11. You get in there 64 minus uh, 22 times 4 is 88. And that's uh, negative 24 right there. Um, and that's a negative number. And then 24 square root, uh, there's a factor of 4 in there. Square root of 4 is 2. What's left over in there is a 6. And you have this. The square root of the negative 1 in there is the i. And so uh, dividing into 2 to both here, you get negative 4 plus or minus square root of 6i. And those are complex roots, as I said. So I don't have to quit.